Um, so once they go out to the startup line, they will give you. Day three was more exciting for all spectators. Wins picked up as finals for all canoe events took place. This is a misclick for, you know, this kind of event, so that's a way we better ourselves. Uh, you think, uh, have you also been approached? Rufus, Rufus. Lane one, lane two taking the lead. That's Ocean one out there. Ocean two with Larry on the runner closer in. This is a very close race. Cheer them on as they go. Coming very close to the final, to the finishing line. Give it up for them folks, there they go. Looks like. Ocean one just took the lead. One is racing the paddle, so I believe they crossed the finish line, but we'll get I'm that sorry, from the officials. I'm receiving uh, word from MC that lane one. How about the big round of applause for our paddlers? Give it up for the paddlers. Ocean one, ocean two, great job. There you go. They will be doing some of these tours. Canoe morning, rides were so also one of the highlights of day three visitors, when tourists and locals alike were given a ride to the channel the, uh, and back the to the community bay area aboard the big so voyaging canoes. On these, uh, canoe tours. Mid sized canoe races, the teams, Team Tamil, TNS2, Larry2, get yourself ready. <laughs> You just heard the gun fired and the race is on. This is it, the final heat for the finals. Team Larry in lane one closest. In the middle, that's Team Tamil on the brown sail. And the farthest to the fuel farm, that's Team TNS.
Remember, these teams were the same teams competing on the first two heats, but they've been swapping canoes. So now Team TNS furthest out, Team Tamil in the brown sail, and Team Larry closest to the Marina Pier. Also coming up, following very closely, and our brown sail canoe with Team Tamil is in third position. Hey, we're at the Canoe Festival. Ross, Tim, you're not here. You missed it. Yeah. Come on down next year. Bye now. Out on lane one on the red totang, that would be Paddler Johnny. Lane two in the silver totang, that will be Paddler Russ. Lane three, also another red totang, Paddler Anton. Fired for the adult totang racers. In the middle there with the silver totang, that's Russ paddling it out as hard as he can. Give it up for our paddlers, folks. Trying for the finish line, the two red totangs trailing. Once again, lane one closest in, that's Paddler Johnny. Lane two with the silver totong, that's Russ. Lane three with the red 
Antol all fighting it out for the finish line. Looks like Antol is now moving slowly behind Ross, but might be catching on with Johnny here, slowing down a little bit. Head to head, Antol and Ross coming up to the finish line. Looks like Antol is possibly taking a slight lead over Ross and they all come to the finish line. Both uh, Ross and Antol in the red totang and the silver out there. Okay, the two teams are now lined up for the uh, Voyager canoes, two large canoes. Once again, on Canoe Mthomram, closest to Fuel Farm down there, that Team Tamil, that is Team Tamil. Up uh, closer on uh, Ukulea Canoe, Team Garage. Both canoes are now ready to hoist sail and uh, start their final for the uh, large canoes large foraging canoes. And the gun fired for the two large canoes to start. So here they go, Mthamram and uh, Huklea for the Team Garge and Team Tamil. And the canoes are catching fair wind, but I think when they get closer out, uh, you know, the channel will be much better than the other. There appears to be another team blue foil down there. Uh, single man on a blue, uh, different looking canoe. The big canoes are Tom Ram, Team Tamil taking a slight lead. Uh, two canoe in between. Team Tamil and Team Garage. Team Tamil on Mithamram, 
trailing behind Team Gorge. Comes the 1500 meter for the uh, international paddling teams. Back out towards the harbor. And coming in for the final day. The final for this uh, paddling team. Now we're reaching only lane two and lane three. Lane two and lane three. Lane one now is occupied. That's why we're not using lane one. Shall it? Okay, Kwenu with brown sail, with tours. Look out for the oncoming traffic from the international canoe paddling teams. Please steer right. Start heading toward the community center. Hey, we're at the canoe festival. Ross, Tim, you're not here. You missed it. Yeah. Come on down next year. Bye down. Team Map still trying to turn their sail to tag. You want to go what to? And the gunfire, folks. The sails are up. Folks, both canoes head to head moving with Team TNS taking a slight lead over Team Map. Okay, this is an exciting race coming in. Check them out. Hukulea and Matamram, the two voyaging canoes coming head to head. Looks like TNS, Team TNS taking a slight lead on Matamram. Followed closely by uh, Team Map in uh, Hukulea. Team Map going up on the uh, leeward side of this Matamram. Oh, 
Looks like Team TNS is about to cross the finish line first. But folks, look out, this is going to be tricky maneuvering to make sure the two canoes don't collide. Team TNS now ahead of Team Map.
Allen's team is still out there. Give it up for our Triple C team, they're coming up. Tour canoe, please steer clear of the paddling canoe. The race is still on for these guys. Tour canoe, slow, gonna avoid that pollution with the paddling canoe. These guys are tired folks, they've been paddling the past half an hour or so, went out to the mouth of the channel, now in, going out towards the 500 and return for the finish. Uh, the other boat is still not uh, here yet, making its way back, that's Alan's team. The second canoe is now coming in. That's Alan's team for the international cuddling. Going for the five mile race. Now approaching the uh, turnaround at the finish line. This is hard work for these guys. They've been at it for the past 45 minutes or so. Five mile race. You can see from their muscles, they're all sweating out. Sailing canoe, avoid pollution. Sailing canoe, avoid pollution. Alan, make your turn, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a disaster. So what a capsizing uh, demonstration and makam sa mga chine. Yes, uh, the rescue boat is there at the uh, 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 that uh, DJ Marker. This is a very hard task to do, battling uh, from the community center all the way to the mouth of the channel, then back to the community center, back to the bars, and then back to the boat. Chase boat, please make sure, check up. Can you please check our paddlers, make sure they're okay? We've lost Alan's canoe there. Sweating it out, but uh, there was a, a very close call for collusion. Well, uh, the sad thing was uh, we were uh, following the, the other team uh, towards the canoe, uh, towards the barge. Well, that to me was at the, the turning point when it happened, when it all happened. So all this happened so fast that we couldn't uh, see what really happened to the thing. Maybe some of the spectators next to the media saw what happened, but uh, so then I can't get any, uh, any uh, information on what uh, really happened to the uh,
right, so we'll try to get that settled down and we'll about this is if you're listening to the radio right now, uh, we need you to help to do the radio right now. So let's see right now, we'll see how some of the other options are doing after the radio. We'll see if we can get the radio Give it up also for Alan Steen, folks. Did a great job. Okay, Chase Boat, we need to clear the area to avoid another disaster. Okay. I, I found I found uh, this Kano festival was a very very good Kano festival. It was very good organized. Thank you to all the people who chipped money in, all the sponsors, into the government who made it possible, and to all those people who are volunteering uh, at this festival that that everything could be done like it was done today. I liked it very much and I'm looking forward to next year. Okay, here is the international paddling race, the last one. We have Ocean 1 in lane 3 for this one. Ocean, Ocean 2 in lane 1. We're in lane 2. Ocean 2 closes in.
Our international paddling canoes are also coming up. Very close together, that's Ocean 1 and 2. This is a five mile race. They have just returned from the mouth of the channel. Give it up for our paddlers, cheer them on. Come on folks, they have 500 meter more to go. Ocean One making the turn, follow very closely. Just like. Go, 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 go. There they made it, going out towards the 500 meter, coming for the finish. This is a very close race between the two canoes. You can announce this because the hop team already here and this is their all their team. Sun is here. If you can, Gergay and what? The bill for the big voyage canoe. To come here so they can, this is all their uh, teammate and uh, who's going to be on the uh, name of the chef. Ocean 1 and Ocean 2 coming up very close to each other for the finish line this is a strong paddling been going at it for the past hour this is five mile race That was a lot of work, so was the canoe capsize demonstration. We will have a closing dance by beautiful municipality of MOP. So let's hear it once more from everybody on that old dock, marina parking, for everyone that worked so hard, the crew, Tina's, everybody. Come on, we cannot hear you. Give it up one more time. That's more like it. One more time. There you go. Let's hear it from Community Center. Give it up, Community Center. Community Center, we cannot hear you. Give it a shout. Okay, looks like our friends on the old dock. You're the champ today. Let me once again take the opportunity to thank all of you, all the people of the app. Who would have thought that we would make something, pull off something like this? We did. And thanks to you and also, yeah, let's hear it for the app.
Awards were presented to all the teams that won races after the day's event. Let's hear it one more time, louder, for the State of Yap. Here you go, WAP! Today, we saw history in the making. We proved to ourselves and to the world that we can still do this. We build our canoes. We sail to Palau and to the rest of the world. My friend, President Toribiong, is probably concerned that we were going to go back and carve some more stone money. Mr. President, I'm assured by our chiefs that your statement makes a good partnership. So folks, we also want to hear for our visitors. So let's give it up for Guam people that are here with us. Our friends from Guam, let's see you all stand up. Guamanians, thank you. Let's hear it for our friends and neighbors from the beautiful state of Ponape. And our friends also who came from the beautiful state of Chuk. Of course, we have some very far away visitors. So let's give it up for Team Japan. I think my friend Alan Rogers is out there. He paddled very well. And I'm sure that President Barack Obama is very happy for Alan. There he is. Give it up for Team USA. Thank you, Team USA. You did a magnificent job. I also think we have some friends in the house from the beautiful Commonwealth of the Marianas. I will, of course, be remiss and never be forgiven if I don't name our closest brothers. This time, folks, let's give it up for President Torbjorn and the Republic of Palau. Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. So, if I can at least give you some of the people and group and businesses that have made this very possible for us, let me run down the list, and then all together we applaud their effort. Thank you very much to Triple B Shipping, Palau Shipping, Yap Cancer Program, Congressman Ursumal, Senator Mulala, Diving Seagulls, Rich Diving Center, Oasis Restaurant, TNS, Seni Store, Traders, HPO, T Company, EMI Enterprises, Seabridge, Yap Woman Association, O'Keeffe's Waterfront Inn and Canteen, Yap Visitors Bureau, the Chamber of Commerce, Bank of the FSM, FSM Development Bank, Speakers Isaac Figueir and, and Charles Chang, the Chugol Canoe Club, Nature's Way, Diving Seagull, Yap Volleyball Federation, JICA Alumni Association, Microtech, and every one of the volunteers, the booth that were set up for the workshops. Let's make a big shout out. Let's give them a big shout out, folks, to all the sponsors. Thank you. Woo! In a moment, we'll of course be calling the awards for the moments we've been waiting for for all the hard work put into today. But 
We're, while we're waiting for that, let me have our TJs give us some music. Enjoy yourself, sit back. All the guests, we will have the drinking circles up there. So go on over and take your shots for the evening. Give it up for our gift presenter, award presenter, Chief Hilary Tachiliol. Thank you. For third place, coming up in third lane and on the red canoe, goes to paddler John Rogers from the United States of America. John, are you out there? I apologize for calling you Alan earlier. John. Okay, thank you for John Rogers from the U United States of America. Thank you for coming from far away to witness. Hillary, can you please present the second place to Mr. Tony Borja, Team Guam. Give it up for Team Guam, folks. Here he is, lifting his skirt. Tony Boha, congratulations. And of course, we cannot let the home state disappoint it. So, first place goes to Mr. Ross Perkins. Ross. Give it up for Ross, guys. From Team Yap, Ross Perkins. Let's hear it one more time. The next set of award, folks. We are very happy now to have the awards ready for our first uh, uh, program. Let me call on former speaker, Tony Ganangyan. Tony Ganangyan, if you're out there, to present on behalf of the sponsor, Palau Shipping, for the adult totang race today. Okay, for the adult totang, of course, we had some interesting things on that race. There were nearly some collusions, but here it goes. For third place, adult totang race, to Mr. Johnny Sally. Johnny, if you're there. Anybody see Johnny? Totang race. Oh, he's coming up. Give it up one more time for Johnny. Second place for adult totang. These were the canoes made out of corrugated irons or corrugated tin roofs. And the second place goes to Mr. Ross Perkins. Ross Perkins, folks, we hear in the crowd calling for a rematch. Alrighty, then for the first place winner for the Totang, adult Totang, and good for some cash tonight goes to Mr. Augustine Anthol. 
Do we have Antol? First place, Totang Race. Since Antol, Antol, are you out there? Here he is, folks. Give it up for Antol for first place, Totang. Okay, thank you, folks. Thank you for your patience. We are now finalizing the other awards for all the interesting race that happens today. So let's hear it from our TJs. Get this crowd moving. In the meantime, invite all our off island friends, drinking circles, down and out in that tent. Get yourself some shots for the evening. At this time, let's do the award for the medium traditional sailing canoe races. And if I can have representative of Matson Shipping, the sponsor. I believe former speaker Kanangian is here to do the award presentation. Tony Kanangian, please, this is Matson's sponsoring event for the mid-size canoe sailing competition today. For third place, mid-sized canoe goes to Team TNS. And let me call Ali to come up and receive the award. Give it up for Team TNS, third place. Ali for Team TNS, third place, mid-sized canoe. Are you there? Give it up for Ali, folks. He's coming up the aisle. <laughs> Navigators don't have to have the fastest canoe, but they can sail. So third place to TNS. Second place for the medium-sized canoe goes to Team Larry, too. That's the other Larry, not this Larry. Team Larry, here comes the representative. Finally, our first place for the mid-sized canoes. First place... For the mid-sized canoe races today goes to Team Tamil for the win. First place, Stan Flefne, are you there? Please come up for the first prize. Here is Team Tamil coming up. Thank you, Stan. Uh, from uh, Team Tamil, we would like to say thanks to all of the family members and uh, friends, to the community. If not for your support, this will not happen today. We try our best to help out our community and we would like to ask for the young people and young guys from Tamil to be participate in next year event, which is today. You all see that everybody on the canoe are old to do this. So thank you everybody, friends and families to the community of Tamil. We give all the best we can do to bring up the name of our community. Thank you very much. I would like to say also thanks for all the members 
on the team of Tomil. All the crews, all the crew from the team of Tomil. Thank you very much. Okay, special award. Let me please call on Chief Falangin. Chief Falangin to please come up and present this very special award. Gifts were presented to dignitaries who were present during the three-day event. Among the few were Palawan President His Excellency Johnson Toribio. Commemorating the first Canoe Festival 2009, we are very happy indeed to have one visitor from abroad happens to be head of state. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for President Toribiong from the beautiful Republic of Palau to come and receive our very special gift from the Council of Pilung, from TNS, from the organizing committee for the first ever Yap Canoe Festival. President Toribiong, ladies and gentlemen. President Republic of Palau. Thank you very much. I accept this canoe with gratitude because it represents the bridge between Yap and Palau historically. I will display it in my office for all to see. But on Tuesday night, I will go home not by a canoe, but by Continental Airlines. Thank you very much. To President Tony Biong, give it up for our president from Palau. Continuing on on our awards this evening, now we go to the 1500 International Canoe Paddling Contest. And this event was sponsored by Diving Seagull. So may I ask one of the Diving Seagull board, I think Hillary, for Diving Seagull, please come up and present the awards, cash awards for 1500. Thank you, Hillary. We have a rather sweep in this uh, contest by one or at least three teams, but the uh, same names. So coming up for third place for the 1500 meter race international canoe paddling. Let's give it up for Ocean 2. Ocean 2, third place. Thank you. Coming up on second place. Second place, ladies and gentlemen, is Ocean One. Team Ocean One. Give it up for Ocean One. Thank you, representative of Ocean One. And finally, for first place on the 1500 international paddling, goes to Ocean 3, representative of Team Ocean 3. Come on up. Okay, we're not quite done, Hillary. This is also sponsored by Diving Seagull. And this is for the long distance. This was the five mile race. 
And so, this, our race that goes all the way out to the mouth of the channel, back in, out, and in. So, here it is. For third place, we have, for the long distance, goes to Ocean 3 again. For second place, second place for the long distance goes to Ocean One. Once again, Ocean One for second place, long distance. And for the first place winner of the triple of long distance, Goes to Triple C. Give it up for Triple C. I can see the rudder man. Thank you, Harong. Come on up. That was some hardcore paddling. Five miles long. Give it up for Triple C one more time. Thank you. Let's make a very brief announcement for our dancers that will be coming up. We have few more awards. Triple C. Triple C, where are you? Third place. Second place for the 500 meter goes to Ocean Two. Ocean 2, guys. First place for the 500 meter goes to Ocean 1. Ocean 1. Okay. This time, I would like to call Rice Diving Center, the next sponsor, and this is our final award, Rice Diving. If you're there, I have the representative of Rice Diving sponsoring the Voyaging Canoe Race. These were the two big canoes that uh, concluded the race today. So. For the third place winner on that, let us first congratulate Stanley Flefne, Jerry Joseph, John Tamangin, Daniel Bawag, Vince Amthun, Joe Mahak, Lawrence Flewem, and Stephen Marr. For Team Tamil, third place, ladies and gentlemen, for the Voyaging Canoe. Team Tamil, please come on up for your prize. Here, you, will, you will receive it for third place. For second place on that race, the Voyaging Canoe, let's congratulate Bernard Yoru, Chomet, Gatman, Son, Gach, Yoron, George and Jason for Team Map. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Map for second place. Since the team captain is presenting on behalf of Rise Diving Center, I am sure I'll ask the chairman to present to Team Map, Edmund Pson. Thank you. And for our first place on the Voyaging Canoe, Goes to Team Garge. Let's re let's recognize Paul, Justin, Metzen, Eddie, Norbert, Stalin, Ambrose, and Julian. Team Garge for first place. Voyaging. Give it up. <laughs> Team Garge, you have a representative. 
Give it up for... Oh, here's Justin coming up. And Topi also coming up. Topi, you're not on the team, so let's give it to Justin. Oh, but Topi insists. Receiving on behalf of Justin, folks, Toby. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That concludes all our words. But before we close, let me ask the chairman of the organizing committee that made all this work come together to please come up, say a few words. John Runman, folks, John Runman. <clears throat> Uh, thank you very much, uh, Larry, for a wonderful job uh, emceeing this program for the last three days. Um, at this time, I would like to say, say a few words to bring our program to somewhat of a conclusion. But the dance will definitely conclude our program for today. On behalf of the organizing committee, what we have witnessed for the last three days has been spectacular. It is a sight that we haven't seen for many, many generations. What has become to be known as the first annual Yap Canoe Festival is a result of community events that began with the trip of the Contiki originating from the South Americas to the islands of Tahiti. This reed canoe was not sailed. It was adrifted to Tahiti. The next event that happened was the Hokalea trip from Hawaii to Tahiti. As we all know, that trip was navigated by Master Navigator Mao Peilu. It is his dream that the art of navigation will not die with him. His historical trip to Tahiti brought the world attention to the Yapi's abilities of canoe building and celestial navigations. It made us, it made us Yapis also aware that we are losing those old teachings. So henceforth, TNS was established to preserve to preserve these knowledges and pass on to these present-day uh, sailors as you see them. Having built all these canoes, it gave birth to this first Yap Annual Canoe Festival. The first annual Yap Canoe Festival is now coming to a close. For the last three days, we have witnessed a sight that we haven't seen here in Yap for over a hundred years. And that sight is seeing our bay dotted with our traditional sailing canoes. The art of canoe construction and sailing once permeated this island but was reaching near extinction as it already has in many island nations in the Pacific. But thanks to many people, including all of you who have come to us and participate in this, our first festival, we are now once again standing strong in the preserving this very important aspect of our culture. The Traditional Navigation Society and the Yap Visitors Bureau, along with the councils of Pilung and Tumol, has worked together to bring this celebration 
celebrated event to Yam. With the completion of this event, we are now confident that with continued efforts and support, this essential part of Yapi's culture will be duly preserved and we can continue to instill the pride of Yapi's culture and heritage in our youth. Please, join us next year on our second uh, canoe festival and tell your friends to come and join us celebrate our national our navigational heritage today the canoe festival the second annual canoe festival countdown begins ladies and gentlemen that is all we'd like to say, and thank you very much for supporting this first annual Canoe Festival. Thank you very much. After the presentation of the awards, the men from Amin Mop performed a standing dance called Chiruguyoy. Masurokopilung Noveloi, Ya Gutulun Razo, Olana Abnora Mel, Suranga Mel, Momorinova for Kore Truna, Marere Truna Purna Bilaram Lala, Marere Truna no Coven de Manera, Mamera, Festival Nat, and Moro. Uh, Siro Siroko Rokipilung Nova, uh, Mogandafal kore chuna ngai perna fal na ba dina kama par kumoro. This is Chirugioy, a men's dance performed by the villagers of Amin Map. This dance tells the story of a man named Chirugioy who was afflicted with a terrible skin disease that left him deformed. No one would go near him because they were afraid, so they mocked him and cursed him and would not allow him to participate in meetings. One day, Chirugyoi took his canoe and left on a long voyage. No one knew where he had gone or even if he was still alive. Years later, he returned and his skin had healed. He came back, a handsome man with many local tattoos. He was also a good man and worked extremely hard for his village. The other villagers regretted the way they had treated him during his illness and immortalized his story with this dance. <laughs>